now surinder you are preparing for which examination surinder uh, sir oil india limited oil okay okay so how many seat in the mechanical sir, there are uh, all total of 26 26 seats 20 20 sir 20 seats oh yes. so how many of your students are called for the interview sir uh, uh, approximately sir 100 1 is to 5 ratio 1 is to 5 ratio yes. okay Yeah, no show sure. so you are just preparing uh, want to give us snaps for the oil okay yes, sir so just define me what is the difference between a beam structure and a column uh, sir a, a column uh, in beam the failure criteria may be due to bending stress or due to tor- torsional stress but in case of column the failure criteria is mainly due to buckling low uh, due to buckling and in column the length is uh, very much larger than the lateral lateral uh, in the uh, thickness but in case of beam uh, it is not that mandatory okay what do you mean by crippling load sir i can't get the question what do you mean by crippling load buckling load oh, uh, sir buckling buckling load sir uh, buckling load is that type of load which uh, which will cause the column to buckle in the lateral direction so uh, for which uh, for, for which column it can be applicable long column short column or both sir long column long column only long. for long column uh, why sir uh, sir because uh, sir, I, sir i did not know why it is say uh, more applicable for long column okay okay uh, so what do you mean by polar movement of inertia polar movement of inertia sir it is the moment of inertia in the perpendicular direction of uh, of both the axes about the mean by section modulus section modulus uh, so section modulus can can be defined as the uh, uh, the ratio of uh, moment of inertia divided by the radial distance radial distance what do you mean by torsional rigidity torsional rigidity sir uh, torsional rigidity may be defined as the property by which of which a body can resist torsion what do you mean by resilience resilience uh, resilience is the property of the body by which of which it can absorb energy up to the elastic limit what do you mean by proof resilience proof resilience sir uh, proof resilience, uh, resilience uh, is the ratio of resilience per unit volume so what do you mean by modulus of resilience sir uh, actually sir what i have said is modulus of resilience so what is the proof resilience sir uh, so what is proof resilience uh, i think okay. so what is the variation of a uh, bending stress along the uh, uh, with respect to depth of member uh, with respect to depth bending yeah. bending moment yeah yeah sir bending moment uh, varies with respect to depth uh, uh, with sir uh, sir parabolically parabolically okay so how the shear stress uh, um, sir shear stress uh, shear stress uh, sir shear stress will also vary parabolically Okay. So, how many types of shear stress can exist? Only one or two, or by, by any of them? The shear stress, uh, sir, uh, sir, many shear stress can be there. Can you give me any names of them? The transverse shear stress. Okay. Or any other? I can't recall. What are the various assumptions in the bending equation? Uh, sir, the 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 body must be iso by isotropic. It must be homogeneous. It should have constant uh, elastic modulus. Uh, every part of the beam should uh, remain remain uh, same uh, after even after bending. 
what do you mean by homogeneous and isotropic uh, homogeneous uh, sir isotropic uh, means sir uh, the property does not vary uh, in any part of the beam the property of the beam is uh, almost same in every part what do you mean by homogeneous homogeneous uh, homogeneous uh, uh, so Homogeneous actually means sir uh, that the constituents is evenly distributed uh, all over the body. It is not concentrated at one place or any other place. It is uniformly distributed. Okay. What do you mean by Poisson's ratio? The Poisson's ratio is the uh, ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain. Okay. What's the range? Sir, uh, practically, sir, it uh, ranges from uh, 0 to 1. 0 to 1. Uh, but it uh, may be negative for some substances like oxetics, etc. So it's ranging from 0 to 1. For which material it's 0? It's a corp. Okay, for which material it's 1? Mm, sir, I can't recall now. Actually, sir, uh, sir, zero to half. Practically, sir, we use sir, zero to half. What do you mean by bulk modulus? Uh, bulk modulus may be defined as the ratio of uh, the pressure applied to the uh, change in volume per unit volume. Pressure applied. Mm. So delta P divided by delta V by capital V. Why we here take the pressure instead of stress? Uh, sir, stress is mainly sir, uh, due to internal resistance. It is not sir applied uh, force or anything. Sir, it is uh, because of the deformation that a body undergoes. So that's why sir we take external pressure. Uh, what do you mean by fatigue load? Uh, fatigue load is mainly that type of load uh, which will create uh, uh, which will create uh, mm, a crack in the substance due to its fluctuating nature of the load. What do you mean by endurance limit? Sir, sorry, sir, I can't. Get this. What do you mean by endurance limit? Sir, your voice gets hard in the mute. What do you mean by endurance endurance limit? Oh, sir, endurance limit. The endurance limit is that stress level under which you can perform infinite number of cycles uh, on a body without any failure. Okay. Uh, if a material is subjected to a tensile loading, yes, uh, if a mile is steel, a tactile material is subject to a tensile loading, so how the failure will occur? Failure will be occur uh, in cup cone shape, sir. Cup cone shape. In which angle? 45 degrees. Why? Sir, um, sir, it is, sir, why I don't know. That we, in our experiment, we have seen that it fails along that plane. Okay. Can you just give me the name of the material which is having the least coefficient of thermal expansion? Least coefficient of thermal expansion? Sir, in bar. In bar. Okay, okay. If a material is free to expand, then what is the value of the stress? Zero. Sir. Thermal stress. Zero. Okay. So, uh, so then I just I will give you the, some feedback about your interview. Yes, sir. I, I think uh, your interview is good. Initially, you were just uh, give the answer good, but after it, uh, you were just guessing so much. Sir. You are not uh, when I am just asking about the homogeneous and isotropic. Uh, indirectly, you are both are not correct things. Whatever you are, just tell me. And you are also confusing about the points ratio value. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, so many things are. I just noticed that uh, uh, you have uh, some requirement of a quick revision. I know you know everything. You have a good knowledge of strength of material. Technically, you are a strong. But I think so. You have just prepared some uh, quick revision of the strength of material. Okay. So, whatever the definition. Uh, which are required for the interview because the interviewer is not asking to solve the problem. They're just asking the theoretical things. 
mainly or the some some application part of the strength of materials okay sir okay so i think you will just take some uh, uh, quick revision of that after if when you were just comfortable then you can just give the snap there is no issue sure. at least take one or two days to revise the things private okay. question sir yeah sir sir uh, sir why uh, uh, the parking the parking mainly occurs in long column because it is it is fail under the crashing only uh, it is a fail under the buckling only hai na because okay. we are just uh, 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 we are just assume that the failure occurs along the lateral direction that is only due to the buckling but when i am just talking about the short column so there is a buckling plus crashing both are occur so we are just using the rankine formula okay sir okay, okay. Yes, sir. thank you sir okay thank you so much